currently on the road to 7,000 subscribers. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could take one second to drop a sub on the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, No Limit Dots here, back with another video. And before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you all out there, the all are kings and queens. And I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the best prime replica build of James Harden. Like, arguably a top five greatest perimeter threat, I guess you could say, in NBA history. I know some people might hate on him, say he was a free throw merchant. He was just, he was fishing for foul calls, this and that. But you can't take away... Like, if you go back and look at some of these stat lines, like, I don't even know, like, he had a crazy streak of, of like, 30-something plus points every single game, or it might have been 40 plus points every single game. Like, bro, he averaged 36 points per game for an entire season. 36, and then he averaged 34 on top of that. He averaged that 36 points with still 7.5 assists and also 6.6 .6 rebounds. That's just, like... How much more could you ask from a guy than that? That is just, that's just crazy. He's one of the most dominant players in NBA history. I mean, listen, I'm a Nets fan. And I, you know, if he didn't get injured, we probably would have won a chip. But I don't hate him for that. I still I still admire greatness. You know what I mean? It's all about it's too much hate in this world for players, for celebrities, for even your friends, for for just random people. You know, just get that hate out of your heart, man. Start showing some love and support. But James Harden, we're gonna go six six. 198 pounds. I know James Harden 6'5, but 6'6, you get so many more attributes at 6'6. So 6'6, 198, then a 7 foot 1 wingspan. Starting off with James Harden, I understand this is his prime, right? And in his prime, you'd probably put the driving dunk higher than the driving layup. But over the years, his floater game. Uh, it's just it's it's taken to an, another level. You gotta you gotta throw respect on it. So we're gonna go ahead and put the driving layup up to an 88 driving layup, giving you Hall of Fame float game. And if you guys didn't check out my Kyrie Irving build video yesterday, where I showed rec gameplay alongside it, floaters are absolutely broken in this year's game. If you can learn how to do a floater, your bag is insanely expanded, right? So the driving dunk, we're not gonna leave him. I know I know Harden, he threw down posters, right? We're going to give him an 82 drive dunk, which is high. If you're a guard, more times than not, you're not going to go past 75 drive dunk. It, like, you're just not doing it. There's really no point into it, I'm going to be honest. But 82 drive dunk, hey, I did see when you when you hit started three, you unlock quick drops off one. They're back in the game, even though they said they're not. And they're, like, supposedly exactly the same. So you got quick drops off one for the 80 drive dunk. Then moving into the three ball. For James Harden's career, I went over his scoring, his his rebounds, his assists, right? He shot 36 per 36 percent from three in his career. 36 percent in my builder is gonna earn you an 85, 85 three ball. And then we're gonna end up putting up the mid-range up to an 82 to get yourself gold guard up. Because hey, if there was a man down, I mean if there was a hand down, there was a man down when you're around James Harden. And even if there was a hand up, you're getting called for a foul. So you better pick your poison with James Harden. Uh, but then your free throw is going to end up being an 82. And then, like I said, for James Harden's career, the man is average seven assists. I understand over the last three years, he's he's taken on a traditional point guard role. The last three years where he's averaging over 10 assists per game, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna, not going to give him a high, high pass. Act, right? We're going to go ahead and give him an 80. An 80 pass. Act, I think that's fair because realistically for his career, it's more so... He's averaged seven assists. It's just he's averaging ten assists now because then no one's letting him shoot twenty something times a game. You know what I mean? And he still has the ball in his hands a lot. Uh, so eighty pass sack. Your ball handle is going to be a ninety two. That's what I mean, guys. A lot of people they just look at stats. But there's always context to stats. Always context. Like even though James Harden for three years has averaged more than ten assists, I would not say I would not say he's a top. He's a top 10 passer in NBA history, and I don't think there's many guys that have averaged 10 assists more than he's actually averaged it four seasons. I don't think there's many guys that have done that, but you know, it's always context to stats. All right, guys. Uh, so a 92 ball, you know, then you're gonna put the speed of ball up to an 83 speed of ball. We're gonna end up unlocking silver speed booster on this build. It's not gonna be gold. It's not gonna be gold. It's gonna be silver. But the steel, I know this could be controversial. I was even surprised looking at it myself. James Harden for his career has averaged 1.5 steals per game. 1.5. So we're gonna put that 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 steel to 85 to get the trifecta of silver glove, silver interceptor, and silver right stick ripper. 
and we're gonna give him a little perimeter i know there's the early in his career there was montage compilations of him just showing absolutely no effort on the defensive side of things i understand uh one attribute i would have liked to put higher but i literally can't move it up because the build has to be complete i uh, can't give him any d-board i really would have liked to he's averaged uh four he's averaged 5.6 rebounds per game in his career so that deserves something right but i i just you guys will see the rest of the build let me know what you guys would end up changing because i really am not sure so we're gonna go 83 excel to get yourself that silver speed booster and gold blow by and then the strength we know james harden utilizes his strength a lot so we're gonna end up putting 64 strength on him to get yourself silver fearless finisher and silver physical handles then in terms of the vertical we put that 70 to get yourself every driving dunk you possibly can and then the stamina we're going to put this up to a 96 stamina and the build should be complete but as always i find a way to mess something up free throw put it up to 82 there we go get yourself silver free points but guys comment down below what you would change on this build to make it more like prime james harden like i said the only thing i would really change is i would want to give him rebounding but i'm not, I'm not really not sure what you could lower like if you want to lower the strength i guess you could lower the strength but james harden was a big body man he was bullying people you know so i'm really not sure not sure but guys that is going to be the james harden prime build and as always as always i like to say build is 50 in order to be a good 2k player you're gonna need this your build is gonna make up 50 percent your animation is another 25 percent and yourself your iq your stick skill is gonna be another 25 percent but we get earl monroe tyrese halliburton and cj mccollum let's go choose our team and show you guys all the best animations and jump shots for this build the jump shot i'm gonna be giving you guys it's going to be a jump shot that you probably haven't seen very often my on ball lock he's an offensive on ball lock has an 85 three ball he uses this jumper we're playing pro-am he's shooting lights he did that literally doesn't miss he does not miss he does not i could i could even show you guys this is against pro-am matchups right literally pro-am matchups with this jump shot i'm about to give you the man shoots what's he shooting forget my three my three don't even that's just a glitch a glitch in the matrix he's shooting 68.4 percent from three 68.4 percent from three crazy right but let's go ahead and get into the animations it is going to end up being the jump shot all right so it is going to be Derek whitehead is going to end up being your base Derek whitehead your base then your upper release one is going to end up being where is he at where is he at where is he at let me find it. it's gonna be i believe it's sadiq bay wait hold on let me let me look this up because i don't want to i don't want to i want to give you guys the right jump shot hold up it is going to be where is he at? all right it's gonna be kyle corver kyle corver 23 percent if I could just find him, here we go. Kyle Corver, 23%. And then the other release is going to end up being Oscar Robertson. A very, very good trusted release. Max speed. Then you're going to go 23% Corver and 77% Oscar Robertson. Then moving into the gameplay animations. Drill pull up, normal two. Spin jumper. You got to test it out. Same with I could tell you those, but I don't really know for certain, right? I only like to give you guys animations that I don't know are, are certain. And spin jumper, hop jumpers. It's really not everyone's type of game. Post hop shot, though, you want to go Kobe, 100%. Then moving into the dribble style, you could throw on uh, John Morant. No, you can't. Wait, do you have 85 smooth ball? What did I give you? I give you 83. I give you 83. Okay, so you're going to go pro. You're going to go pro. Pro Magic Johnson or LeBron James, those three, or Zach Levine if you really want. Size up, you're gonna go Kobe Bryant. Then after that, you're going to go escape moves, Trey Young. The combo moves doesn't really matter. Crossover, James Harden. Behind the back, Jamal Murray. Hesitation, John Morant. And then step back, you could either go James Harden or John Wall. Just it's, it's your preference right there. So that is going to be the prime James Harden build in NBA 2K24. If you did overall enjoy the build video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been your boy, No Limit Dots. And I'm out. Peace.